There are many things which have changed as the centuries have passed. First, the search for truth. was the only search that any man of genius will undertake. There was no competitive search. For the man of genius, there was only one thing, and that was truth. Naturally, the highest quality of intelligence came to the masters. Today the situation on this point is totally different. The genius mind most probably is attracted towards some scientific research to become a great scientist and Albert Einstein. The genius is rarely interested in the search for truth. He comes to realize it only when his search, whatever he was doing, has come to an end and he feels unfulfilled. And it gives no satisfaction not even to Albert Einstein. At the moment of death he said, if there is another life the way the Hindus believe, I would like to be a plumber rather than to be a physicist. So down the ages, slowly, slowly, they have crucified masters, poisoned masters, killed masters. Slowly, slowly, the very phenomenon of a master has become very rare. Even if one comes to the state of realization, he remains silent. Because very few people like crucifixion. And very few people like to be condemned by the whole world. So 
in the first place, very few people reach to that stage. Because the people who could have reached are working in the world of chemistry, physics, mathematics, astronomy, There are 364 departments in Oxford University. And each department needs geniuses to go deeper into the subject. And there is not a single department in those 365 departments for mysticism. And the place of the master has taken by the teacher. And the teacher is thousands of miles away from truth. He repeats only the borrowed knowledge, what he has got from the scriptures, from the elders, from the universities, from the libraries. He collects it. He is a good collector. And he preaches it as if it is his experience. These teachers cannot help anybody to realize on the contrary, these teachers put off thousands of people from the very search. Because as you come closer to them, you find that it is an ordinary man, just a little more knowledgeable, but knowledge can be accumulated sitting in a library. There is no need to surrender, no need to trust. No need to be devoted and committed. Books don't ask you anything. An intellectual is just a memory system. His memory is full. He is a computer, well fed. Intelligence is a totally different thing. It may not know anything in particular, but its capacity to know is very sharp. Its receptivity towards truth is very clear. So these teachers, of different religions, different cults. First, don't help anybody. Secondly, they disappoint many. To such an extent, 
that people are simply put off. They simply forget all about truth, mysticism, the mystic path, the masters. The teacher has created a barrier for them because he proved wrong. The whole search seems to be hocus-pocus. And people are exploiting. Many other things have changed. One is in the days. ancient. People were simple, innocent, childlike. The work of the Master was very easy. They were open and they could be read like a book and the Master could see where few touches are needed and the man will be awakened. Things have changed so dramatically. that today first it is difficult to find a master, then it is difficult to have the intelligence, love, devotion, totality, of giving yourself completely without any conditions. But it is not impossible because it has been happening with me more than it has happened with any old master. I have thousands of sannyasins whose devotion, whose love is in no way inferior to any devotees who have ever existed on the earth. It is far more superior. Thank you.